Hey guys, it's Sorrel here, and welcome back to a new video. I'm using my phone to do this audio because Windows Movie Maker is being ever so bipolar right now. So, um, I hope this quality is good enough for you guys. But in this video, I will be coloring this drawing, or sketch rather, I did of Udio from Yuri on Ice, um, with ink wash because I've been obsessed with ink wash for the past 500 years, and I thought it be really cool to kind of show off the two inks I do have. So this first Yurio, I am actually coloring in a ink called the Pen and Sketch ink. And I got this ink from my sister's college because I was there for our state fair. And while I was waiting for her for five hours, I actually toured around her college and she mentioned that they have an art store on the bottom floor of that chill area. So I went there and I found this ink for five dollars and I'm like you know what I kind of want to get into ink wash so I bought it and honestly it was the most goodest that's a word buy if I can actually say because I actually really loved experimenting with ink and I just really love the different effects you can get with it so the things I like about this ink is that it's very much so a warm gray ink it's not fully black which is a positive because black is a very strong color so getting a very black ink can be kind of troublesome sometimes so um yeah and and another thing I really like about this ink is that, again, it's fairly inexpensive and it's very affordable because inks nowadays can be from 8 to $15, depending on what brand of ink you get. And another thing I really like about this ink is that it's easy to use. The only thing I hate about this ink is that the ink doesn't stay dark. And you could kind of see that from the different perspectives in which I colored the drawing. It'll be dark in like five minutes and then it'll lighten up and just blend in with the area that you put the darkened colors over. So that's the only thing I don't like about this ink. So if you don't really like ink that lightens up, I would not suggest it for you guys. So we're technically done with the first Yurio. So um, tell me if you really like this ink brand and uh, let me know if this was your favorite out of the two. Alrighty, so we're moving on to the second Yurio, and this Yurio is actually colored with the Noodlers ink. And I got this ink from my sister's best friend because I was telling him all about my woes with the pen and sketch ink, and he was like, Narelle, I have this ink at my house that I don't use anymore, and I'm just going to give you a sample of it, and let me just know how, what you think about it. And I didn't use it for two days when I got it, and I felt bad, but once I started using it in my personal sketchbook which you guys will not see in a while I actually fell in love with it so I'm like this is perfect for the second option so my positives about the noodlers ink the color is consistent it does not lighting up so that's a huge plus in my book another thing I really liked about this ink is that you can build it up very easy even though it's a really black black ink you can get a really easy build up with it so it's not too intimidating for you guys um another thing i like about this ink is the fact of it just looks like an ink wash drawing and the pen and sketch ink kind of looks like in my opinion a copic marker drawing like tell me if you agree with that because i think so too the only thing i don't like about this ink which isn't really a negative point it's just that is a heavy black ink so you kind of have to be aware of how much ink you apply on your brush and I'm using a water brush so it kind of doesn't matter to me because I can water it down so that's it for for the video you guys so tell me which one you like the best in my comment box below thanks for watching give us a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video